Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Diane Dobson Barton and today I thought I would show you around my workroom, give kind of a tour. I'm always curious about other people's workspaces. So we're gonna do that today. Okay, I know I could clean up, but you know what? Let's keep it real. This is what my desk looks like. And right now I'm running some sprints for heart breathings. This is my mess. And over here, I've got just a variety of books. This is my version of the Kanban board. We decided to name him Radicus. By the way, I may or may not be making clothes for Radicus. Over here I had a bunch of swatches that I did of oil paints and I took them all down just this afternoon and I punched them and put them in my swatch book because they got to be where they were more like decoration than useful and so now they're out of the way and if I need them I know where to go what to look for and that's crooked but I do like the I'd like this head that I did the head study of Brandon Ferris I do like it over here I keep some of my some of my still life things. This large black thing here is it's a easel. And there's some blank journals and then in some of these and I have to be able to see what's in it are different different art materials. It, that's just the container. This is all my pencils and all that good stuff. This is, what is this? I think this is Conte. Yeah. Those type of things. I love these boxes. And they are, they do have to hide them. And there's some soft pastels, some cheap ones, some better grade ones pan pastel, then there's my oil pastels, and I ran out of space for those, and so a couple of them are on this basket. And in here I keep like photography things, small easels, little lights, things of that nature. And then over here, I did clean this off the other day, believe it or not. This is a 3D printed press that my son-in-law did. I think it's really cool. I haven't, e I haven't even tested it yet and ran through it, but I will. And then these are some of my gems and things. And then in mean, here, there's a whole ton of them. There's all different kinds in there. And then I've got a nice variety of paintbrushes. I kind of pared those down a while back. I've got this hanging in here. My daughter, one of my daughters gave me that. The wall in here is, is a little rough. I need to probably give it a good coat of white paint again. These are my oil uh, mixing items and things that are more toxic. There's my poppy oil and there's some linseed back there and some walnut oil. This is all watercolor and gouache. This is, I think these are, where are the, aren't those acrylic? Yeah, those are some system, just some system three acrylics. Gesso, some more mediums and gesso, and then those little condiment containers that you can get. Some more brushes. Uh, I think that's, is that gouache? No, those are Grumbacher. That's a set of Grumbacher paints. I need to stop forgetting those are down there. And then this is my work table. It, that I use when I'm by my easel. I, right now, I don't have anything large I'm working on. These are mostly my rosemary brushes. And then I've got that black sheet up because I've got this set up that I can use for still lifes 
and whatnot. And then I can sit here either on my stool or this office chair that's here. We live in a really old house and this is the carpet that was in here when we moved in. I don't really want to take it up even though it's terribly unattractive. It does provide some insulation so Probably if we ever take it out, it's going to have 10 pounds of glitter in it because I've done things in here with my grandkids. And then over here, I'm getting ready to do a, a haul of some things I picked up super cheap. I don't have high hopes that they're going to be high quality, but you know, I won't know until I try. There's my ring light. My plant that's still alive. It's still alive. And then some sketchbooks I'm working through. That's one of my vintage camera. The precious moments are from, they belong to my late sister and brother-in-law. And I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly, he found that calligraphy set for me at a garage sale. A painting of one of my grandsons. And just some cool stuff. That's from Rafi and Klee, the poster. And this, but I, I set it up on my easel, and that way I have these two little push pins right here, and I can move them around easily, and I can hang a stretched easel on it, especially if it's small. It gives me, it gives me some options. And I'll put this drawing board behind it. And it helps keep it, you know, and I tape it down some a little bit. And then it keeps it from wobbling any from when I'm using it, you know, just given. Then over here, we've got more paints, more oil paints. And then over here, more art supplies. Then over here, we've got blank sketchbooks and... This is just my reference photos in there. That's still life stuff. Some reference books, old typewriter. I think that is in that box. I think it's, um, I'll have to look actually. Oh, it's yarn. It's some yarn that I won that I need to finish up making the, the project. And then I've got a plain air easel there, canvases, and this is some, I believe it's arches paper that I was gifted that I need to cut up and use for oil paintings on paper, you know, just gesso over it. And then this side table over here uh, there's my alcohol markers back there. I need to turn them on their side now that I see them over there. This table, I was I was given that table when I was 16 for a Christmas present from my folks, and I've kept it all these years. It's adjustable in height. It does have a new, cup, uh, new top on it. We had a cabinet place in a nearby town that a friend worked at, and the top of mine was getting really worn and so he he replaced it for us and speaking of which I did have a a cutting mat on here that I was using but it was getting hard to keep it clean and this table was made by my late father-in-law and it's I mean it's sturdy so my thought was if I can just go ahead and get it dirty, not worry that much about it. And then if it starts getting too bad, I can just sand it off. And he would he would be thrilled to know that I'm using it. Um, what else? What else can I show you? I have some old cameras back there on the shelf. I collect vintage cameras. The lighting situation I was going to say something about. What this is, is these are, these are LED lights. 
and they come with a little remote. You can, I got these, oh, I don't know, they were maybe $6 a string. And then what I did, I see, I, it's, this is, this was not my idea. These are LED lights. And then I've got them strung up catty corner on the table. And then they come with, with this and I can change the colors. I can, I can make it warm light, cool light. I can change the brightness of it. There's, yeah, I bet it was like $6 a string to do that. And then I've got it hung up here on this. I'm from Kansas, remember? <laughs> this is nothing against Kansas. I've just got it strung up or taped up on some baling wire. Uh, double layered and it goes caddy corner and it, it works great it and the little little remotes make it it works I can really tell it works when the, the, there's no light at all coming through this window but yeah it works pretty well as far as sh no, you know keeping the shadows down so but that's the grand tour I don't have quite as many as I used to. I probably have maybe a dozen different ones. The interesting thing, that camera right there is, is a Diana, and I found it at a local flea market, and I just bought it because it had my name on it. And there was another one that had a different name on it, and I didn't get it. I just got that one. And then I, I did research and found out what they were, which was pretty cool. Uh, this is a the old library files, you know, the, the wooden ones that you pulled out or they kept kept when books were due behind the desk. And I was given that when I was working out at a library. This I just recently bought this fabric. I just thought it was pretty, so there it sits. I put work up as I finish it these days, just like I did behind me on the on the bulletin board, on the cork board. This, this is something, like, I want to do more of these. I want to do more of this type. This was done by Burgers, well, this was it. This is a study of, by, of Burger Sanzane's work, who's a Kansas, um, a former Kansas professor, put that way. And I just love the, his use of color. So I'm going to be doing a lot more studies like that. The thing is, this is done in oil pastel, and I need to do some in oil paint. Because if nothing else, this really, to get that thickness and that texture, I had to really lay it on there. And I just, I love that, that texture. So I'll be using oil paints to do some studies. So that's it. That's the that's plain air easel over there. Footstool with storage inside of it. Cords everywhere. Paper towels stacked up. Gloves. And that is it. So bye. Thank you so much for watching. You have no idea how much I appreciate you. If you would give this a thumbs up, subscribe, share it with somebody who you think might be interested. Take care, be safe, and I'll see you next time.